Time now for a trip inside the Wolf's Den, brought to you by Little General. Here's Dale Wolfley. Welcome back to the Bob Huggins Show and inside the Wolf's Den, I'm Wolfman. Today, we have a special guest. Well, really not a guest because he is a full-fledged member of the Wolf's Den. President of Little General Stores, Greg Darby. GD, how are you, my brother? What's up, Wolf? <laughs> I'm doing good. Hey, thanks for coming in uh, this special time here. We've got a lot to talk about. But first of all, tell me, what do you think about the Wolf's Den going to the Bob Huggins Show on Hoops? Well, I think it's a great idea. I don't know why you haven't done it before. <laughs> I think it was your idea. It could have been. Late at night, maybe. <laughs> Late at night, <laughs> absolutely. You know, let's let's talk about uh, this basketball team at WBU because you're such a big supporter. You and Hugs are basically brothers. And where do you think this team is in this transition, where do they need to go? Well, I think they got a lot of opportunity. They still got a lot of talent. You know, they lost uh, Cottrell to an injury and a day or two later, they lost uh, Oscar to a transfer. He just packed his stuff and left. So, you know, they take a little transition time to get used to that because they've been practicing for months to, to with the other group, and now they're gone. Uh, I think we've got a lot of speed, a lot of, a lot of quickness. I think our guards will get better, and I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think so too, but it's got to be tough. You know, in the Big 12, you got to transition from the number two team and number one team. In the, I mean, it just keeps coming at you with the competition. Well, there's no doubt. I mean, it's the toughest league. I mean, we got four or five of the top teams in the country that any of them could win a national championship. So uh, it'll be interesting to watch. I watch them a lot on TV, and uh, there's a lot of good guard play in the, in the Big 12. Well, there's not many loyal supporters like you, but let's move on. We'll get back to Coach Huggins here in a second, but I want to talk to you about Little General Stores, the charities that you have. When you think about it, we just got done giving $60,000 for the – this uh, past fall for kickoff for kids, uh, our campaign that we do together. And uh, obviously it all, it all comes from LG and your charities throughout West Virginia. I've always told everybody how well Little General cares for the state of West Virginia and WVU. And you, you talked about the Children's Home Society and what you did. You know, basically you've given the 2020, the year of COVID, about half a million dollars between you and LG. Yeah, we, you know, we try to support all the people in our community, We, uh, especially the kids. We do the Children's Hospital, we do WU Cancer, Norma May Huggins, Children's Home Society, uh, and numerous local things. And we have a scholarship program we've been doing for many years now. We give 25 scholarships out to high school graduates. So we try to support uh, the state and uh, try to be a part of the communities we operate in. Yeah, I don't think there are very many companies that really care about West Virginia like you do. And it's uh, it's really awesome to see. I really enjoy the fact that in the den, Little General is the sponsor. You've been with me since the very beginning of the Wolf's Den. And it's probably because of Little General and you that the Wolf's Den is here. So I thank you very much, brother. Very, very You're much. welcome. Absolutely. Glad to be a part. <laughs> right. Well, then let's move on to WVU and... You know, you're, you're part of Neil Brown's special club. You're Bob Huggins. You're given you're given to wrestling. You're given to volleyball, uh, baseball. I mean, you know, you tell me, but you're giving a lot of money to the WVU MAC, Mountaineer Athletic Club. Why are you doing it? Well, I graduated here. My son did. My wife did. Um, we're fans, and, uh, you know, we're, we're lucky to be able to do it, and we just want to give back and help. We want to see them win championships and be uh, be exciting and see the stadiums filled and the, the, the Coliseum filled and we want to see trophies and uh, we just like being a part of it. Absolutely. Well, besides also giving to the MAC, you also do a lot of sponsoring with WVU as well with Fairfield ING College and Next Start, of course, here on TV. But now let's get to the real thing I want to talk about, February 26th, and that is the Bob Huggins Fish Ride. Now that is my favorite event every year for sure. You always give me a seat there at your table. And uh, again, I always appreciate it, but I know we're different this year because now we are live streaming from uh, Triple S Harley Davidson. And I know there's a lot of special things going on. Tell us about the fish fry. Well, you know, we, we raised 800 grand last year. It was the best one we ever had. Uh, I've been involved as a little general has been involved as the main sponsor since day one. Um, started out, I don't know how many years ago, but quite a few. 
and it's just got bigger, bigger, bigger. So this year is going to be a challenge because we can't allow people to come. Uh, there'll be a few people maybe allowed, but you know, with limits by the governor and everything else, we can't can't bring people in there. Uh, so we're doing it virtual. We got Barstool Sports involved. Uh, I don't remember everybody. We've yeah, got Dave Courtney. Uh, yeah, who's giving out all kinds of money right now with Barstool Sports. He is on fire hot. Right, right. unbelievable. You got him, and of course you got uh, ESPN analysis uh, friend Priscilla. Right, uh, he's on board, and you know they they Sean Butler. You know I probably going to have you on there. I'm sure because <laughs> you support well, I'm usually so on well. there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Now let's talk about it because you're going to have a live auction online. But you're also going to have silent auction. What what items are you going to have? I don't know the whole items. Uh, well, if there's many of them out there, I, you know, they're collecting. And we actually, we have a fish fry meeting today to discuss things like that. Uh, we pushed it back. It was supposed to be in January, uh, but we pushed it back the day before the K-State game. Um, I'm not sure of all the items. I know we have a Harley Davidson uh, donated by Triple S or by... Uh, Choppers or whatever they're called. Yeah. Uh, painted Orange blue. County Choppers. Orange County Choppers. There yeah. you go. Painted blue and gold, and uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, you'll be able to bid for that online. Um, and I, I don't know all the rest of them, but there'll be many numerous gifts. So we raise a lot of money in the auction. Cool. Last That's year cool. we raised over four hundred thousand, I think, in the auction. Just in the auction. But the total was total money was eight hundred thousand dollars. Total eight hundred. Now I know you don't actually have a lot of expenses because you guys try to keep it in house and you keep all the expenses down, so you can actually give a lot of that money to charity. Right. Or of course, now let's not forget about remember the miners. Now tell us that story with you and Coach Hugs. Well, this is kind of how it all got started. Hugs was working. We we formed uh, the Remember the Miners when the uh, accident happened down in south of Beckley um, put it together and here we are remember the miners and uh, we started raising money and giving scholarships to kids and uh, um, from there we started taking part of it and putting it to Norman May Huggins and it just grew and grew and grew and uh, we still we have an endowment it's an engineering school uh, uh, so when the hugs during the fish fry, we give twenty five thousand dollars to that endowment every year. That goes to students that want to go to W and Engineering School. They have to be from West Virginia, right? I don't think they have to be from West Virginia, but they have to go to WVU because uh, the one kid came across the stage and told Hugs, "Thanks, I'm going to Kentucky," and I think that kind of killed it. Yeah, I, I bet it did. Well, listen, man, I'm. I want to thank you very much for everything you do for West Virginia University, everything you do for the state of West Virginia. You and Corey Beasley, of course, uh, your partner there. And, and the other thing I want to say is thank you because you are the leading sponsor of the Polar Plunge for Team Wolfman. And of course, uh, that is for Special Olympics of West Virginia. So once again, you step up. LG, Greg Darby, Corey Beasley, it doesn't matter. You're, you're all over the place doing what you can, when you can. We thank you so much. Welcome, glad to be a part. I think we should move that to Florida though. <laughs> you know, well, I tell you, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind doing a belly flop in some warm water. Right. But anyways, well, thanks so much, GD. And again, thank you. Hey, little general story, Greg Darby, Corey Beasley. It's all about WVU and West Virginia. Stay tuned for there's a lot more to come on the Bob Huggins Show.